California is lined up to kick the ball off first, and we are ready to go. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Hurricanes offense basically predicated on what this kid can do. The thing about, I love about this guy, Brad, is, is just the intangibles that he brings to the table. We've been seeing this guy make plays over the weeks, but the thing that I really recognize is his ability to really lead this football team. When things are going well, he's patting everybody on the back. When things are not going well, he's trying to pick them back up and getting them ready to go. So not only does he physically have the tools, but also I really love the way he approaches the game. From their own 22-yard line. Second down. Dumps it complete over the middle. They'll bring him down at the 32. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. Play by the defense. There's nothing like a defense being able to slip off of a block, get into the backfield of the offense, and then make a play in the backfield to be able to create some momentum possibly for this defense. Oh man, he took him down hard. Not much there on that opening drive. Well, they had their opportunities here to make some plays to try to quiet this crowd, but they weren't able to do it. If things keep going this way, this stadium is going to get even louder. And they make the stop at the 49-yard line. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Around the 48-yard line. Short gain there by the halfback for the first down. Smart run. Maybe it won't look great on the stat sheet, but getting the first is what matters. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Receivers got it on the screen. The screen is good for four. From the 44-yard line, it's second down. And he can't get away from the pressure. That's a loss of 80 yards. That brings up third and 14. From their own 48-yard line. Third down. Right. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is Ready. 59. Ready. Black with the ball. Right. And he's sacked. Down he goes again. And that's how you put a stop to a drive. That is an outstanding job with a pass rush. Fourth and long here after the sack. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He gets sacked on the play. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. So the sack makes this a second and long.
He might have a chance. Touchdown. To the 10. Touchdown, Hurricanes. And he tacks on the extra point. A quick two-play, 80-yard drive. They add seven points to the scoreboard. Well, Brad, right now this offense is hot, and they also took advantage of some mistakes there by the defense. Nice kick, plenty of distance. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. He might not be able to get the pass off. Tackle around the 27-yard line. One, maybe two yards on the quarterback scramble. Second and eight. Ball on the 27. Let's go! Now he tries to buy some time. Tackle made at the 34. Shoved out of bounds. Brad, you can really feel and sense the energy coming from the sidelines right now. They know how important it is to pick up first downs. And the coaches right now are showing the excitement that they have and yelling out the next play for the offense. But clearly, the offense coordinator very happy about the execution on that last play. And he's tackled at the 36-yard line. Yeah, a little bit too much air under that throw, but this receiver has the bounce you need to bring in those high passes. It's first and ten. Ball on the 36-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He steps out at about the 33-yard line. Get him for a loss. Loss of four yards on the play. That, that brings up third and ten. ten. They'll line it up again on third down. Four down, four down. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike to 59. He launches one for the end zone. Can't connect. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. That'll make it fourth and ten. ten. The kick is up, and it's wide right. No good. You know, for a second there, I thought it might hook back, but it just kept slicing to the right. That's tough break. I was really impressed with their last series. They came out with a focus on the passing game, and the offense got the job done. We'll see if they have the same strategy here. Scrambling around. And down he goes at the 49. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on the 49. Miami is up seven. Red 18. Red 18. He's tackled at the 37. First down. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low-scoring first quarter. The Hurricanes in front, 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. Watch the run, watch the run. So, so Mike's number one, Mike's number one. Ready, green 95. For that. And he's taken down at the 41-yard line. You know, as, as a running back, you've got to get upfield north and south. That time, he just seemed to wait and kind of delay his reaction and just got to be able to make a read, 
get upfield as quickly as possible. In college football, especially up in the NFL, the more you're dancing around waiting for a big play, the more time you're giving an athletic defense a chance to come and make a play in the backfield against you. And that's what happened. down and they need to get it to the 27. Under heavy pressure and they got it. But the defense is fired up responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that could really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. The sack makes this a fourth and very low. Big kick here to try to pin the offense deep in their own territory. Oh, excellent punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. Now he's scrambling. Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. He's taken down at the 20. And just a great interception by the cornerback. Boy, that's big time. He made a great read on the quarterback and got in there for the pick. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Miami is up a score. And that sets them up with a first and goal. Number 37 brings him down at the five-yard line. That makes it first and goal. Just throws this one away. It's second and goal. Ball on the five-yard line. Quick throw to the tight end. They'll bring him down around the four-yard line. That's a deal. That makes it 30 goal. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. So it's fourth down. This isn't much more than an extra point. Miami can make this a two-possession game with this field goal. He gets it up, and it's through the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up to go out there and get some more points on the board. Runs it, and he stops short of the line of scrimmage. That'll bring up second and 11. Second down and 11. Ball hey, on the 24. Defense, go. Pick it up, D. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike to 59. <laughs> Again, he'll get the call. He gets out to about the 25 yard line. He flings it, and it's intercepted. That's the last thing they needed to happen was an interception. They're trying to fight to get back into this game, and to have that miscue, now it's really up to their defense to try to help them out. From midfield, first down. Mike 
steps out of bounds at the 47 yard line. down and they need to get it inside the 40. And he just gets rid of it. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. He doesn't want to touch back here. He wants to knock this ball inside the 10. He really got a hold of that one. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. I give the defense credit, but right now I think it's more a case of sloppy offense. Yeah, you got to recognize that both defenses have come into this game with the right mindset. They're very well prepared. But I'm with you. It's, it's one thing to have great defense. It's another thing when those defenses are going up against offenses that just are not clicking right now and hitting on all cylinders. Fires out to his wideout. And he's hit immediately. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. And they make the stop at the 38-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 38-yard line. Throws incomplete. These guys, especially in the secondary, really get after it and can make life hard for the play callers on the other side of the ball. Throws it in a hurry. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Two yard loss. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. From their own 36-yard line. Third down. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike's 59. Ready. Out of bounds around the 42-yard line. That'll make it fourth and six. It's away, and it's a booming punt. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The Hurricanes right now are getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected, maybe even better than they expected. And now, as we get near halftime, there's going to have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy we're getting close to halftime so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think that more often than not, you look back at the first half and you think about, okay, let's eliminate this, this, and this, and let's maybe try a completely different way of, of trying to attack him. In my opinion, They've got to take some chances and be more aggressive in trying to put pressure on him. What they've done so far hasn't worked. Let's go! White 80! White 80! Brought down right around the 32-yard line. 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! Ready! Red 68! Red 68! Tackle at about the 45. The Hurricanes will use their first time out of the half. From their own 45-yard line. First down. Ready! 180! Rose right intercepted. Brad, not only a huge interception to get the football back and maybe have a chance to get back into this game, but this could really change momentum. You can see the players and how they're responding down there on the sideline about how excited they are to get the football back and have a chance to put points on the board. From their own 44-yard line, it's first down. 
Gets it out. He's met immediately. That's a loss of four yards. This defense is fast enough that they can create negative yards on completed passes. So the offense might want to consider that next time they try that play. Got a man. Watch out here. He's out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. That makes it third and 11. Third down now, and they need to get it inside the 46. Get to that quickly. Tackle made at the 48-yard line. That was a well-designed and executed pattern, but on third down and forever, it just wasn't enough. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Check the line. Mike, Mike, 68. Mike, 68. Tackles him hard at the 45. We're halfway through, and it's been a good one. 10 0 Miami. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Cal's got some catching up to do. Now, it wasn't a totally disastrous first half for this team, but these two squads supposedly evenly matched. We thought the game would be much closer, and this squad better get their act together. They're going to fall right out of this game. Well, especially because you knew this team was going to be all you could handle regardless. So you needed to come out with probably a little bit more energy. Now it's time to readjust. The game plan has to be readjusted. You're down by two scores. Things have to change. You have to make some big plays, and it's not the start you wanted, but it's only two scores. You still just got to find some ways to make some plays early in the third quarter and get this turned around a little bit. Just about ready to start the second half. We're going to watch all the games around the country, including some coaches who like to sample the surface that they're playing on. I'll, I'll keep an eye on that. Yeah, I'm going to go to the cafeteria. You want some turf, some astro turf or anything? Yeah, if they've got some, I'll chew on that in the second half. Here's the second half for you to chew on with Brad and Kirk. All right, Reese and David, thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Miami's the type of team, when you look at them, it looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defensive line and their linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence, and it's allowing them to play more downhill where they can attack this offense. He makes it to the 28-yard line. That's good for a game of three yards. That'll make it second and seven. Second and seven. Ball on their own 28. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Why 59? And he picked up almost four on that halfback delay. That makes it third and three. Another carry, and he's brought down for a loss. Nowhere to go for the halfback. That's a loss of one. That makes it fourth and four. They get this one off, and it's a beauty. And he makes it out to about the 31-yard line. Both sides have made their way back out, and we're just about set to get going again. There's the play fake. And he's tackled right around the 46-yard line. That makes it first and ten. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Mike, 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 Mike
got you, boy. Not not got an opening. And he carries the ball for a nice game. So he calls his own number and gets about six yards. That'll make it second and goal. Two tights, two tights. Four down, four down. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Oh, what's the mic? Why eighty? White! Gets to about the 37 yard line. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Watch, watch, watch. 117, 117. Set! Quick strike, and he drops it. Number one was the That'll bring up fourth and one. Watch, watch a slap, watch a slap. They're crowding the line. Mike one, let's go. Red 18, red 18. Oh, oh. Nice gain as he works the right side. That's good for a gain of five yards. From the 32 yard line, first down. Four down, four down. Here we go, oh, here we go, oh. Ready, watch one, check, check. Caught and he's hit immediately. That's good for a gain of two yards. That'll make a second and seven. Right and left, right and left. Four down, four down. So, so Mike's number one, Mike's number one. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 22. He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. Sheds that one. And they'll take over on downs. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Down two possessions, this offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Goes at the 32. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He gets hit out of bounds right around the 40. They'll get the first down on that eight yard completion. Great look from the quarterback to find his receiver and make the quick throw for the new set of downs. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. From their own 41 yard line, second down. And he's taken down at the 50. As an offensive line, you've got to do a better job as a group at communicating. The defense brought pressure. That time, they did not do a good job of picking up the linebackers. The linebacker was able to come up with a sack. So the sack makes this a second and long. Open man, quick strike, and he can't pull it in. Number six was the intended receiver on the play. Roger, Roger. That'll bring up third and long. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Got you. Hey. 
Catches it, and he's immediately tackled behind the line. They lose three yards there. Not much going on there, but those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. He's to the 40. He's tackled around the 46-yard line. It's not over yet, folks. We head to the fourth quarter. 10-0, Miami. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. That was just smash mouth, helmet to chin football by the defensive line there. They dominated the point of attack. From their own 43 yard line, it's second down. He gets rid of this one. pick up there. I'll tell you what, the defense gave a little bit here and came with the blitz and the quarterback showed tremendous by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. He's taken down at the 32-yard line. That's good for a of seven yards. That'll bring up second. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Hands it off. You know that to get your keys out because we're on a drive. This offense right now on a drive. I mean, this is their third first down. They're doing just about anything they want, and they're really starting to wear the psyche of this defense down. Finds his man, and they take him down immediately. Number 21 makes the tackle at the 23 yard line. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Hazat! Gray 95! Gray! They'll bring him down at the 14 yard line. It's great when a running attack comes through for the first down like this, it makes an offense so much more versatile. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Let's go! Green 88! Green 88! Hut hut! Hut hut! Another run, and he makes it out about the 10-yard line. Well, the defensive line got such a good push up front that there was no one on the offense to account for the linebacker, and he got through almost untouched. Second and 10, ball on the 14. Just under three to go in regulation. Check, check. Big dog, big dog. Hot. Makes it to the 12-yard line. A yard, maybe two on the carry. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Five 
Myers incomplete. Well, that is great coverage by this defense. They did everything they could to force that wide receiver into a very small window close to the boundary. The quarterback makes the throw to give for a chance to make a play. The problem is there's no room left for the receiver to get his foot down for the kick. And he's got it. Since it looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, these defensive coaches have got to be loving what they've seen from their guys today. Well, you and I talked to both of these coordinators getting ready for this game, and they put together a game plan. They shared it with us, and we're seeing it out there on the field today. Still going to determine the outcome of this game. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down to the sack. And somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. From their own 25-yard line. And now, he drilled at the 17. Man guys can be aggressive. If you stand back there and take hits like that, you definitely are going to feel it the next day. Just under two to go in the game. And a corner on the interception. And the out to 30. Boy, the defense was all in the air. Come on, the dagger interception. First ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. After a decent pickup, California will use their final timeout. And off up the middle, and he's stuffed. From the 25 yard line, third down. It's got the distance, and he got it. Miami is ready to kick it away. They got the kick. Want to be down and back. The Hurricanes have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing, and it's really paid off because it's set up. to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys... And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Under a minute left in the game. And it's caught. Tackle. Field. Well, I tell you, these guys have some skilled players who can make things happen. They picked up an enormous amount of real estate on that play. The spike will stop the clock. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Black 
fires it quickly. And they make the stop around the 13-yard line. And he stops the clock with a spike. From the 13-yard line, second down. So the touchdown makes this one a little bit closer. It's just too bad they couldn't get a few more of these a little earlier in the game. Yeah, they'll certainly be able to take some positives out of this game. And you always learn more from losing than you do from winning. So the kicker is going to stay on the sidelines. These guys will try for a two-point conversion. So with very little time remaining here in the ball game, our score, Miami 16, California 8. They don't recover the onside, so they'll really be counting on their defense to come up with a turnover in order to win this thing. Well, this is the biggest series of the game. A stop here, and they're back in business. But if they give up a touchdown, it's all over. Miami up by eight. Nothing more demoralizing for a defense than seeing the opposing quarterback take a knee. Two times, two times. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Miami 16, California 8. The Golden Bears. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.